We've made it to lesson number eight. You have lesson eight, lesson nine, and lesson 10, and then we'll have our first test. Today's lesson is entitled, God the Preserver. Today's question is, how does God preserve us? Take a look at the picture. In front of you, you see an island. What I'd like you to do is imagine that you were stranded on that island. What would you need in order to survive? You'd need food, for sure. You'd also need water, but because you can't drink the salt water that's all around you. You might need a weapon in order to hold off any dangerous animals that might look to harm you. You would have to find or make these things by yourself until you were rescued. When God created people, he didn't simply place them in a harsh and dangerous world and let them fend for themselves. In fact, when we look at creation, everything that God created before man he created for man's benefit. God provided everything that people would need to live on earth. Today's church word is preservation. We've used this word a lot throughout this lesson and we'll continue to use it. Preservation, this is God's care of what he created. That brings us to our first takeaway point. God provides for our bodily needs. There's a Bible story that I'd like you to associate with this main point. And that's the story of Joseph. When we think of Joseph, we think of a man who eventually became the second in command in all of Egypt. But before he got to that point, Joseph endured a lot of hardship. His brothers hated him. For many years. Finally, their hatred boiled up and they sold him into slavery. Joseph was a slave in a foreign country. Things started to look pretty good, but then he was accused of adultery and put into prison for a very long time. During that time, Joseph may have questioned whether or not God provided for his bodily needs. But throughout all those things, God kept him safe. And finally, God's plan was revealed as Joseph became the second in command of all of Egypt. When Joseph became the second in command in all of Egypt, he had some very important responsibilities. He helped the nation of Egypt store up food for seven years so that their nation could endure for seven years of famine where there was no food to be found in the land. Because Joseph was able to save all of that food, Joseph was able to feed his family, to feed Jacob and his brothers. And in doing so, he preserved the line of the Savior. Joseph's brother Judah would be the great, 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 great grandfather of Jesus. Without Joseph saving up all of that food, Judah may have died of starvation. God used all the hardships in Joseph's life to be able to preserve the line of the Savior. Crazy things like this happen in our lives too. We don't understand why God is doing things, and we may question why something happens. But we can always be sure that God does not abandon us. He uses the challenges in our lives to accomplish his will for us. That brings us to our second main point, which is God defends us against danger and guards and protects us from evil. In Psalm chapter 91 verse 11, we see one of the ways in which God protects us. Here the psalmist writes, 
For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. God employs his angels to watch over us. We don't always see them, but God is watching and protecting us. Think of Joseph. There were times when he probably should have died, when he was thrown into that pit, or when he was sold as a slave. The angels kept him alive throughout all of this. Another story to think of. Think of Moses. Pharaoh wanted all the Israelite baby boys put to death, but God preserved and protected Moses. There are other people in ways that God uses to protect us. He uses parents, police, teachers, and doctors. He also protects us through government laws and the court system. We can be sure that God does defend against danger and guard and protect us from evil. It's a promise that he has made to us. Today's key passages are Psalm 104, verse 14, and Psalm 91, verse 11.